Hello everyone, and welcome to Lavelia's Coloring. How are you guys doing? I do hope that you are all doing well. And as for me, I'm just trying to, you know, check off all, all the videos I've been wanting to complete. And already I have more requests on top of that. So I hope you guys can bear with me while I try to get these videos recorded and out to you guys. And also many thanks for your understanding. So for this video, I will be showing you how I colored these icebergs and this page is called Arctic Mermaid from the Misfits Winter Fantasy Coloring Book number 10 and this is illustrated by White Stag. So yes, I was asked to share how I colored these icebergs and honestly while I was coloring this page I was pretty much just winging it, <laughs> just channeling channeling Bob Ross, adding happy blue streaks on the eyes. So now I'm going to try to recreate it and hopefully it'll turn out great at the end. So the page I will be coloring in is this one, which is called fly in an ice cube. And so we'll get started. So I'm going to show you the page in my coloring journal of what I used to color the iceberg. So what I used is the Lemouche alcohol marker number 171, jade green. So I have it right over here. If you can see it, sorry if it's blurry. And I used a Mitsubishi Uni colored pencil number 549. It is kind of like a turquoise blue, but today I will be using a Prismacolor because that's a uh, colored pencil that a lot of people have. So this is mine. It's short. <laughs> so this is Aquamarine number um, PC905. So this is what we're going to use to shade on top. And so one of the things that we're going to do is to make sure that we have something behind the page that we'll be coloring. I kind of have two just so, just in case it goes right through. So I have a cardstock and like a cutting board, plastic cutting board that you can get from like the dollar store, dollar tree, and then you just cut it to the size you want. Okay, so what we're going to do first is with the 171 jade green or your lightest 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 turquoise blue i'll show you how it looks like it's not glaring oh there we go so this is how it's going to look like and it's really really pale so if you have one that's as close as you can to that either like um it's kind of it's a greenish tone but you can also go towards either bluish tone or what because I'm using aquamarine as a shade so it can go either way I think I know that's how I would use it so yeah so your light is alcohol marker and that shade and first I'm just going to color the bottom part of the iceberg all in jade green So this may be a part where I'll be fast forwarding. Hopefully I don't get tangled in the... wires. Wires. Um, the mic is around me. So I'm just... I'm just gonna go over here. My pen is not drying out. And I think it is. So I'm just going to finish this area here. Okay, so my pen is drying out. I will come back with 
another of this pen. Okay, I am back. It wasn't that long, so if you've watched my coloring haul, my most recent one, you'll see that I bought a new set of Lemache markers. So this one is a square barrel compared to this one, which is um, a rounded oval one. So hopefully, I think it should be the same colors. So I'll go ahead and use this one. I'm still going to use the other pen. It should still be good to do streaks on the iceberg up above. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this one up. And just go in a continuous um, direction going down. And because she's going to be covered in ice, I forgot, totally forgot. I'm just going to go ahead and cover her all really juicy pin so it's making this go by faster <laughs> Um, there we go. So this is just for the iceberg alone right here. So I'll go ahead and do these little ones right over here. I don't know. Well, actually, I'll just do this one. In the other one, I went underneath the, uh, the little lines right over here to make it go down. I'll go ahead and zoom you in. Okay, so it's going to be very forgiving because it's supposed to be an iceberg. The lightest... Um, this alcohol marker color is light so I'm just going to just go in here just this part here and just drag it down actually let me go use my old one there's still some juice left in it so I'm just going to drag it down go in here and just pick I pick the side, just go down. You can see little squigglies here. So I'm gonna go underneath it. So it's gonna be like the shadow and just go down a little bit over here. I'm gonna pretend that it's like going in. This looks like a shadowed part. So I'm gonna go and just, so I'm just, um, yeah, just going down. <laughs> this is what I meant uh, about like uh, I am kind of emulating Bob Ross, where <laughs> I'm picking my like he would say trees, but I am doing icebergs and just going down. So up here, just. I just have to pick a side. Um, I'm just going to. Uh, hmm. Go this way. And when you shade it in, it helps uh, with uh, how it looks, <laughs> I think. So it will all dry light. So. And you're just creating the shadow. And all the black lines, you're going to be covering it with the white Posca or white gel pen, whichever one you prefer. I'm just gonna. I will do the gesso. Um, I'll see if I can do that. Add it to this video, and I will put the shadow.
Okay, so for the iceberg, I will do the same thing and I'm just going to go over the girl because she's inside the eye, she's encased in it. So when I finish coloring the eyes and the icebergs, um, when I do finish this page up, I'll just color her lightly and um, lightly go over the spots where I colored with the alcohol marker and the pencil. So we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is how it looks like now, and this is just pretty much how I would color this page. Uh, I don't know if it's right or wrong or whatever, but I like how it looks. <laughs> so now we're going to come in with the Prismacolor Aquamarine shirt. You can see it, and it's PC905. And we'll go ahead and start in this corner. Let me go ahead and give you guys a close-up of that part okay so with this one I'm gonna be creating the shadows so even darker shadows so I'm just lightly going in and I'm gonna go make sure it's always going down with this one like a crevice there I don't want to cover all of the oops <laughs> That's what I always do when they're short, but um, all of the, what color is that, jade green that I laid down, so this aquamarine is just to emphasize that there is shadow over there, and shadow over here, so you can bring it down, bring it up thicken up the shadow you can add more shadows it doesn't have to be exactly where I laid the shade green so I'm just emphasizing the shadows here in the bottom, I'll probably bring it up. Sorry, I'm like <laughs> trying to concentrate on what I'm doing. What you can also do is, as you're uh, coloring, step back and look at your work go back and go in where you think you may need to add more color make sure I'm on, this, on the screen and just, yeah, just con keep continuing to follow where I laid the uh, jade green 
this one and continue it down like it meant to go here So you can start to see the iceberg taking shape and just pretty much go from there. And I'll go ahead and fast forward this part. I'll also do the bottom part where the iceberg is and this part and then I'll show you how I do the ocean just so I can do the gesso part and then we'll do I'll show you how it looks like with the white Posca so please enjoy
Okay, so this is what it looks like now with just the alcohol markers and the Prismacolor colored pencils. This is the Aquamarine again, number PC905. So just using these two already, I think it looks alright. Um, it looks like icebergs to me, but I'll go ahead and show you how I do the ocean using the gouache on top and then how the iceberg will look like with the white Posca covering the black lines. So I'll be right okay. back. So now we are back with the sky and the sea colored in with alcohol markers. I did color the sky with the Lemache twin marker and the color I used is number 69 Prussian blue. And the reason why I wanted to color the sky already was because uh, if I was going to show you how it looks with the Posca pen, the white Posca pen, I wanted to make sure I finished up the sky first. And so with the C, I used the Arteza Everblend Art Marker. And the color I used is the number 8264 Agents Blue. And so this is kind of like a dark turquoise, more on the blue side kind of color. This is just a dark, dark blue color. And yeah, so now I'm going to show you how I did. Turn back to the other page. This portion with the gouache. And then, you know, like the, um, the white portion here. And then after that, I'll cover all the black lines with white Posca, and then you'll see the big difference. So uh, just by putting the sky and the sea colors really lightens up the icebergs. So, okay, so I'll go ahead and mix up my gouache, water it down, put this off to the side. So I'm using the Arteza Blend Gouache and it is number A163. So I have my water here, just gonna put it. In. Okay. Sorry if it sounds like there's like a fan in the background. It's my heater that's on, my hands are freezing. <laughs> so this open. And I'll go ahead and put a little bit in here. I don't really need that much, but I'm just gonna water it now. I'm just gonna use this. This way, sorry. So I'm using a, sorry, I forgot to show, a flat brush, really wide. It's about uh, three fourths of an inch. I don't know if there's a number for this. Oh yeah, right there, three fourths. <laughs> sorry. So I'll go ahead and. I really want to water this one down. Let me see if um, I can get a, couple, a little bit more water in there. Pick up some more. And what I will do, hold on one moment. What I will do is I'm gonna use like a scrap um, cardboard paper. I'm going to just put my plastic cardboard behind it. And I'm just going to see how it looks, um, how transparent it looks before I put it on my paper. I feel like I should add a little bit more. Okay, let me go see how it looks. So I'm just going to glide it So it's pretty much, I think that's a little bit too white. Maybe add a little bit more water. Okay. Let me go 
try another go this side okay I like that a lot better okay so it's gonna be not so white we'll just lighten it up just a little bit a little bit okay so what I'm gonna do this top dark line I'm gonna go just follow the um, actually I'm gonna go in the bottom one first before I'm on the top one so or maybe I should start from the bottom okay wish me luck I hope it looks great at the end okay so here this up a little bit and Whoops, I forgot to put this back. Go ahead and clip this back. Okay. So go ahead and I'm just going to start from the bottom and go all the way across. Looks like a lot there, huh? I think I only went down over it like once, so now it feels like it's, it's drying up on me. I'm going to go up in the top. It's going to running out. It's there. want to even it out so you don't see the I'm gonna fix up my line so it doesn't look so like uh, streaky but I wanted to um, don't want it to be so straight I'm just forcing my lines to be wavy. There. Okay. So I'm going to clean this brush. Be right back. And the thing is, I think you can do this also with acrylic, but um, I had. I want to try to use my gouache also, you know, so. This is, it's easy to water it down. And so I'm going to use a smaller brush. I don't know if there's a size, it just says size 8. But it's also a flat brush. But I'm going to use this for the remaining. See if I can use this white one. Move this over. What I'm gonna do is just in the bottom of the iceberg, just go across like that. It's already drying, so just making sure I don't put my hands on it though. Over in the side. And I 
think I need more on this side. I'll let that one dry. And I'm gonna go in the bottom of this iceberg. Turn it on. And there's a little bit of line here, so I'm going to follow that. Go under that other iceberg. This iceberg. And there's a little line right over here, so I'm gonna follow that line also and just go towards this iceberg and like that. Add a little more light. Oops. I'm standing up, that's why, <laughs> so I can get a better view. Um, let's see. Just want to add a little bit more here. Oops. And then I'm going to continue with this top dark line here, and then this bottom line here, and then fill in like those little squigglies in between. So that's it with the gouache. I keep trying to call it gesso. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm like stalling with that word. And I'll be right back with it dry. And I'll also do the white acrylic. So what I'm going to do is use a 1M Posca. This is a PC1M and if I really need to I may use the PC3M probably like on this part where the line is thicker so that's what I might use this one for so I will be right back okay so here we are with the finished page um, finished not page <laughs> because I haven't done the girl but finished icebergs I finally finished coloring on the white Posca. I used the size 1M and the 3M. My 1M is slowly running out of paint, so I'm, I try to use as much as I can on this page. And it took a while, but uh, I got it done. And what do you think of this page is I could have done less layers of the gouache wash <laughs> wash wash uh, for the water and that's pretty much it I think I that's probably what I would do differently and with the icebergs uh, if you just want to use colored pencils I do think it's possible just using like a really light shade comparable to the um, alcohol marker that I used uh, the jade green so this shade of colored pencil and then again like 
a color like the aquamarine from Prismacolor. Uh, I think it's doable. I just showed it with the alcohol marker and pencils because I was showing how I colored the other page right over here. So let me see if I can show you how it looks before and after the Posca outlining. So move this right over here. So hopefully I can put the previous picture on this side. And I hope there, that, that we can see a difference between uh, the two pictures. And I really want to hear what you guys think of this. And I do hope it's helpful to you guys. So I'll go ahead and put this back. So thank you so much for joining me and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope it was very helpful to you guys who wanted to know how I colored the icebergs. So I'll, I will <laughs> see you at my next video. Please take care and I'm sending you all big hugs and happy colorings. Bye bye.